a response to all my fans who commented on my text the rich video. First, I want to say one thing, which is you know, this is my TikTok channel and what I'm talking about is business and small business and family owned business and investors and entrepreneurs and the taxation of the same. So I look at this not through the lens of politics, but through the lens of how does this affect business and specifically family owned business and small business and investors and entrepreneurs. Let's just address one possibility here, which is American businesses moving to foreign countries and continuing to sell their services and products while Americans pay for those products and services. That would be your personal choice whether you continue to do business with that company and buy those products and services. As Americans, we have a choice on where we place our hard earned money. Next, what I meant when I was talking about how some of our poorest would look like kings in the poorest of countries was this. We do not realize as an American population how fortunate we truly are to live here as compared to others in impoverished nations. Embrace it. Be proud of it. Be proud of your country. Thankfully, we are not living in a war-torn country and having to walk miles with a bucket of water to feed our families. It just seems at times like so many people want things handed to them. And that is not how America works. It's just not. Lastly, so many people want to talk about corporate tax exploitation and how the rich exploit the tax laws. But if they are exploiting legitimate tax laws, loopholes, if you want to call them that, are they doing anything illegal? There are something like 80,000 pages of tax code and it's growing every year. Just because large corporations and successful companies and business owners and the rich can invest in the people and the knowledge and the services to utilize the tax code, I can't hold that against them. And you would probably take advantage of that for yourself if you could.